In this lecture, I have discussed about how the relay coordination can be done with considering case number two. That is one number of transformer running and bus coupler breaker is on and fault talker very close to feeder one that is 30 degree bus. Okay. So in this case, we have considered that transformer one is under shutdown condition for maintenance purpose and bus coupler breaker is on and transformer number two is running and fault occur at feeder one very close to 30 degree bus. So here the fault current will be contributed only by that of the transformer number two. So equivalent circuit has been drawn for calculation of the three phase fault symmetrical fault. Okay. So here the source impedance is ZS is equal to 0.1, which already calculated in previous lecture and ZT there is the percentage impedance of the transformer with respect to 100 MBA base, which is equal to 0.2. Okay, since percentage impedance is 10 percent with respect to own base MBA, there is 50 MBA with respect to 100 MBA base, ZT is equal to 0.2. So this equivalent circuit, from this equivalent circuit, we can calculate the value of three phase fault MBA. So total equivalent impedance from source to transformer comes as Z equivalent is equal to ZS plus ZT. So here ZT equivalent is 0 0.2 per unit and ZS is equal to 0 0.1 per unit. So total equivalent impedance comes as 0 0.3 per unit. So fault current, fault current in terms of per unit comes as 1 divided by Z equivalent which is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.3 which is equal to 3.33 per unit. So base current, base current is 30 kV pass is base MBA divided by root 3 into KB base. Here KB base in terms of 33 KB is 33 KB and MBA base is 100 MBA. So base current comes as 100 divided by 1.732 into 33, which comes as 1.75 kilo ampere. This is the base value of the current at 33 KB. So fault current uh, comes as I base into I fault in terms of per unit, which is equal to 1.75 into 3.33 in terms of per unit value, which is equal to 5.8275 kilo ampere. So this is the value of the fault current at 30 kV bus when one number of transformer is running. So what is the philosophy of relay coordination based on the uh, case two that is one number of transformer is under shutdown condition and one number of transformer is running and bus coupler breaker is on. So fault current is supplied from the source to the transformer by bus coupler breaker and to the fault point at feeder one. So at feeder one, 5.8 to 75 kilo ampere current will flow. So this fault current will be sensed by the bus coupler. Again, this fault current will be supplied from the LV side of the transformer two. That is 5.8 to 75 kilo ampere will be supplied or sensed by the LV side CT of the transformer. Again, from the HB side, the reflection of this fault current will be one fourth with that of the value 5.8 to 75 kilo ampere considering that transformer is running under nominal tap con condition. So here the value of the fault current will be 1.456875 kilo ampere. So this fault current will be supplied from the source. So based on this fault current, we have to calculate the TMS value of the overcurrent relay which is connected on the CT secondary side of the feeder one for the bus coupler for the LB side over current of the transformer for the HB side of the transformer. So again we have considered the trip time as a 200 millisecond and 150 to 200 millisecond margin has been time margin has been uh, considered for the considering of the TMS calculating of the TMS for the upstream over current relay. Okay. So from this philosophy, we will calculate the value of the TMS and we will compare that of the case one. So as per IC standard inverse curve or IC normal inverse curve, trick time T is given by 0.14 into TMS divided by PSM to the power 0.02 minus 1. So IDMT characteristics is used for all over current relay 
for which IEC standard inverse curve has been used. So here the PSM is the plug setting multiplier which is given by the ratio of the fault current to the current setting. And TMS is the time multiplier setting. We have to calculate the value of the TMS by considering that the value of the trip time at maximum fault condition at feeder shall be 200 millisecond. Okay. So here the trip time is equal to 200 millisecond and value of the fault current is known. I said I said this in terms of uh, secondary value is 1 ampere and since the CT ratio is 400 by 1. So value of the I set in terms of primary value is 400 ampere. So PSM comes as 5.8 to 75 into 1000 divided by 400 which is equal to 14.57. So we can calculate the value of the TMS by the formula equal to trip time is 0.2 into PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1. Here PSM is equal to 14.57 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 divided by 0.14. So here the value of the TMS comes as 0 0.078 second. Okay. So for bus coupler over current delay, we have taken grading margin on time grading margin for 200 millisecond. So here the trip time is equal to 200 millisecond more with respect to of the overcurrent relief for feeder. So here the trip time has been considered for uh, 0.2 plus 0.2 is equal to 0.4 second or 400 millisecond. So trip time is equal to T1 is equal to 0.14 into TMS divided by PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1. So value of the PSM is equal to I fault divided by I set. Here the I set is equal to 1 ampere in terms of secondary value or 100 ampere in terms of primary value since the CT ratio of the bus coupler is 800 by 1. So here the PSM is uh, comes as 5.8 to 75 into 1000 divided by 800 which comes as 7.28 that the fault current is same with that of the feeder since other the transformer is a shutdown condition and same fault current will be supplied by a bus coupler to the feeder one so the value of the fault current is 5.8275 so psm comes as 7.28 so we can calculate the tms value by the formula trip time into psm to the per 0 0.02 minus 1 divided by 0.14 which is equal to 0.4 into 7.28 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 divided by 0 0.14 which comes as 0 0.116 second. Now for the transformer LB side. So here the grading margin has been considered as 200 millisecond with respect to bus coupler over current relay. So here the trip time for the transformer LB side over current delay is 0.4 plus 0.2. Since 0.4 that is the 400 millisecond trip time has been considered for the bus coupler over current delay considering the maximum fault current. So here the trip time for the LB side of the transformer uh, has been considered as 600 millisecond. So the I set, I set is 110 percent of the full load current since the full load current in the LB side is 874.8 ampere. So the value of the I set is 962.3 ampere considering 110 percent of the full load current in the LB side. So PSM that is the plug setting multiplier is I fault, I fault divided by I set which is equal to 5.8275 into 1000 divided by I set which is equal to 6.056. So the value of the TMS is equal to trip time into PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 divided by 0.14. So here, here the value of the trip time is 600 millisecond and PSM is 6.056. So value of the TMS comes as 0 0.157 second or 157 millisecond. So for the transformer HB side, again some grading margin has been provided that is 200 millisecond with respect to LB side of the uh, transformer. So here the trip time has been considered as 0.6 plus 0.2 which is equal to 0.8 second or 800 millisecond. 
So here the I set uh, is the 110 percent of the full load current in the HB side. In the HB side, full load current is 218.7 ampere. So I set comes as 240.6 ampere. So we can calculate the value of the uh, TMS from the formula trip time T is equal to 0.14 into TMS divided by PSM to the power 0 0.02 minus 1. So here the PSM comes as fault current divided by I set. So here fault current is 1456.9, which is the reflection of the fault current in the HB side. Okay. Divided by 240.57, which comes as uh, 6.056. So you can see that the value of the PSM is same in the LB side and HB side of the transformer since the current set is same and same current is flowing from the HB to LB side. Okay. So value of the TMS comes as 0 0.8 into PSM that is 6.056 to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 divided by 0 0.14 which is equal to 0 0.209 second or 209 millisecond. Now let us take the two cases in the same diagram. So case one, two number of transformers are running in parallel condition, bus coupler breaker is close and fault occur very close to the feeder one. So here the value of the TMS for the from the feeder to the HB side of the transformer has been shown. So value of the TMS for the LB the feeder one is 0 0.0. 91 second value of the TMS for bus coupler over current delay is 0 0.098 second and for the LB side over current delay which is equal to 0 0.132 second and for the HB side over current delay it is 0 0.176 second and case number two one number of transformer is under shutdown condition and other number of transformer is running and bus coupler breaker is on all talker at very close to 30 degree bus at feeder 1. So here the fault current is different with respect to uh, previous case. Here the fault current is 5.8 to 75 kilo ampere. We have calculated the value of the TMS for each over current relay. So here the uh, TMS for over current relay for the feeder comes as 0 0.078 second. For bus coupler it is comes as 0 0.116 second. For LB side over current delay it is 0.157 second and for HB side over current delay it is comes as 0 0.209 second. So between these two TMS we will take the value of the less TMS which comes in between these two cases. So in between these two cases for feeder the TMS value comes as 0 0.07 8 second which is less in between two cases okay so for bus coupler the less tms value is 0 0.098 second for lb side over current day, the less tms is 0 0.132 second and for hb side over current relay the lesser value of the tms is 0 0.176 second okay now we have recalculated the value of the trip time by considering two cases. So here the trip time has been calculated in Excel file. So case one and case two, the fault current is 800, 8750 ampere and case two, the fault current is 5828 ampere. So current set is 400 ampere for feeder and PSM value is G. Fault current divided by current set, which comes as 21.88 uh, in case 1. So, in case 1, value of the TMS comes as 0 0.08 second, which is considered the lesser value in each cases. So, trip time, uh, trip time comes as 0 0.176 second. In case 2, the value of the PSM is equal to 14.57 and TMS is uh, 0 0.08 second. So the value of the trip time comes as 0 0.203 second. For bus coupler, for, for case 1, the fault current is 4375 ampere. 
okay so, and current set is 800 ampere in terms of primary value uh, for case 2 fault current is 5828 ampere and current set is 800 ampere so psm for case 1 comes as 5.469 and for case 2 it is comes as 7.284 tms has been considered a lesser value in between two cases so we have chosen the tms for bus coupler over current delay as 0 0.098 second uh, here we have considered uh, the tms value as 0.1 which is very close to uh, tms value 0 0.098 second okay so trip time in case one comes as 0 0.405 second and for case two it is comes as 0 0.346 second so you can uh, see that uh, there is a uh, some grading time margin difference in between trip time from bus coupler to the feeder that is okay for case two there is a almost 150 millisecond time margin from bus coupler to the feeder and again for the case one there is 225 millisecond uh, or 230 millisecond time margin between trip time from feeder to the bus coupler again for the transformer it will be side uh, we have recalculated the value of the trip time by considering the lesser value of the tms here the trip time comes as 0 0.601 second for case one and trip time for the case two comes as 0 0.504 second so again you can uh, check the time margin for the trip time in between bus coupler to the lb side over current delay for case one there is 200 millisecond time margin from bus coupler precard to the transformer will be side and for the case 2 there exist almost 160 millisecond time margin for the transformer hb side we have calculated the value of the trip time uh, by considering two cases here the trip time comes as 0 0.801 second for case 1 and for case 2 which is comes as 0 0.672 second okay so we can check that there is 200 millisecond time margin for trip time from lb side over current delay to the hb side over current delay and for case 2 there exist almost 170 millisecond time margin so this is how the relay coordination is done for over current delay in a substation okay this shall be transformer hb